The day that he was featured on the cover of USC's game day program is a day that Marcus Lattimore will never forget. He extended his school record for career touchdowns to 41 with this 28-yard run early in the second quarter. But late in the second quarter, he suffered a gruesome knee injury that has sidelined him for the rest of the season. The USC medical staff rushed to his side, but what they found was enough to trouble even the most hardened of players. But in a show of great respect, the entire USC bench and most of the Tennessee bench surrounded Lattimore as he lay on the ground. The medical staff eventually carted him off the field and took him to the hospital for further evaluation. Sunday, during his weekly teleconference, head coach Steve Spurrier said he had spoken with team doctor Jeffrey Guy. Uh, Marcus, uh, with the way Dr. Guy described it, uh, a little bit what T.J. Gurley had, where the, the, the knee sort of pops out of place, uh, dislocates, and they got it back in quickly, though. Dr. Guy felt pretty good uh, that it was in quickly and that, uh, you know, it's, it's going to take a while, obviously, uh, to recover and rehab this. Late Sunday afternoon, USC released an official statement on Lattimore, and it says the following. University of South Carolina junior running back Marcus Lattimore suffered a significant impact to the front of his right knee during the Tennessee game on Saturday. The ensuing hyperextension of the knee resulted in injury to several ligaments. There were no fractures or additional injuries, according to team physician Dr. Jeffrey Guy. It also said Lattimore's surgically repaired left knee was uninjured during the play. The release went on to say that Lattimore is resting comfortably and will continue to be evaluated over the course of the week and that Lattimore has already begun the process of preparing for surgery and his eventual return to football and Steve Spurrier echoed those thoughts. Marcus, Marcus had a good attitude today. We saw him and uh, talked to him and uh, uh, he, he knows what the road ahead is and uh, we're all hoping and praying he'll be back. He's, uh, since he wasn't registered, he, he, he has two years to, to play one. And uh, whatever the time frame uh, of, of this knee requires, I think we have to wait and see, according to Dr. Guy. So we're optimistic that uh, he, his football days are still ahead of him. And uh, there's been history of, of, of guys coming back and playing from this type of knee injury, according to Dr. John Guy. One question remaining is how long the rehab process will take, whether Lattimore will be back next year or if it will take an entire year for him to get back to 100%. The answer will be more apparent to the doctors as Lattimore continues to be evaluated. If you'd like to see a copy of the entire release, visit SGTV's blog at sgtvblog.tumblr.com and follow Capital City Sports on Twitter at CCS on SGTV for continued coverage. For Capital City Sports on SGTV, I'm Hunter Banks.